man. All right, we got him. We like to apologize. For what? To absolutely no one. <laughs> <laughs> the two-time champ does absolutely <laughs> fucking no <laughs> one. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, yeah go yeah, for yeah. it. Can they start with our guest? <laughs> <now? laughs> Why did you, 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 you bring man on the show? I see your head. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about your <laughs> No, let me tell you why. Because I'm going through the topics in the order that I sent them over when he asked. Oh, so right, that's bet, me. Bet, bet, that's bet, my bad. Let's go. This is going to be a fun episode. Yeah, I can tell. All right, for those who don't know you, bro, speak your speak your life. Like we all know you as the picture guy. You know what I'm saying? You're you're out here. You're doing your thing. Told, you work with a lot of high, you know, high people in high places. What are you going to call them? High value. High value. I'm a high value, <laughs> value, <laughs> nigga, I'm a high value <laughs> nigga. What are you talking about? No <laughs> you respect. respect. I'm allowed to say nigga, but just in case oh. you guys are wondering. Now you're looking for it. I was, but they're using the N word so much. Now, Reba, don't worry. I'm allowed. Two oh, black parents. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I said, I said, nah, this, this episode is going to be special. I said, let me, address, let me address the elephant in the room. Because you know you got some readers who might be thinking no, no, to yourself, no, is that what you guys are lying? No, I get it. <laughs> in 2020, you're lying. People just say, anyone saying the N-word, nilly willy. Like, all right, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's me, in it? Who's me? Um, Tell us about yourself, bro. So my name's Daniel. I'm also known as DB Captures. Yes. I am, yes, I'm a photographer. I trade is what I do. Um, I've been in the industry for what sixteen years now. Boy, you've been busy. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old man, man. I've been, I've been about. <laughs> I was going to do the Kevin Hart. Damn. <laughs> damn. damn. <laughs> no, sorry. I hear it. I hear I'm it. Sorry. I hear it. <laughs> when I talk to people, and they're like, "Oh, you been how long? You been doing photography? A couple of years." Oh, I've been in this industry since I was sixteen. Like, damn. <laughs> you're not playing games. I've been on the come up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I started yeah, out yeah. doing like wedding videos. I hated them. Shout out to all my clients. It's not that I don't like you. It's just I don't like mm. wedding videos. And then um, about what. Four or five years ago, um, went to Afro Nation, was drunk, ended up <laughs> shooting for Burner Boy while I was drunk and my life changed. Like it's been, I don't know, it's been a bit of a, a crazy ride for someone who didn't expect it to be mm, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I first started, like when I first started getting into photography, I remember I was doing it for like a year and I was doing it for free and I was just like, it's just something I really enjoyed. I felt passionate about it. I needed it in the time that I was going through whatever mm. and through that it just went from like me shooting for free to shooting for, like LMA mm. the moment in Afro Nation with Burner Boy where like I said like my life changed and yeah then, so we spoke about that before we even had the mics rolling like yeah. what actually actually happened for people who don't know I know what happened boom but, uh, give right. us a give let us me, a load down. let me tell you what happened in Afro Nation and why man's life changed in it why man can afford to be wearing Tom Ford basically Jeez. damn you have to do okay. that like what <laughs> If I'm gonna be, I might as well stun a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna have to tell y'all. You know what I mean? That's a bar. I'm gonna have to go home to eat noodles at some point. So, <laughs> you know what? I'm taking an R&B voice team. So taking... R&B. That's, 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 that's another one for the intro. That's another one. That's another one. That's another one. You're welcome. R&B voice teams. That's for me. Get me. So, if anybody asks you, just make from this episode, didn't it? Yeah, that's for that. So, I basically. um Afro Nation, so me and my friends, we've, we've flown to Portugal, Afro Nation 2019. Yeah. So basically, I've taken my camera because I like shooting people. So I've just come off the back of shooting a couple of artists. And, um, the biggest one I did at that time was LMA. That was the first concert I've ever done. Yeah. Young photographer. I was given an opportunity by one of my friends, Shah Alex, and that was where the ball, that was where life really mm. was like, was, it was making the, a turn. Um, it one in Shepherd's Bush? That's the one. I was at that concert. You're joking. Yeah, I was there. You know man. what? That day was phenomenal. Like, so I'd never shot a concert before. Going back, I'd never shot a concert before. I'd never done an artist, never done a celebrity. One of my closest friends, this year, one of my best friends, Alex, um, who works for like, um, uh, obviously who was doing the show, was just yeah. like, look, you want to take pictures? And I was like, you know, I've never done this before. Like, this is quite mm. a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's course. like, no, no, I, look, I've seen your work. I know you can do it. I trust you. And you know, just go for it. That opportunity there was the catalyst to what happened because when I did the LMA show and I tweeted about it, it blew up mm. with, and I didn't mean it to. Generally, I was just tweeting celebrating my win. So anyway, after the LMA one, I shot that. That's phenomenal for me. What's happened is people who I don't even follow stuff like that have now seen my work. So mm. this is a really pinnacle point to why Afro Nation happened the way it was. So mm. people that don't follow, they just see my work. They just know who I am cool. They've kept that in their buffer. Then I've started to do pictures here and there, take pictures of people and that started to get and people just know who I am. Yep. So fast forward now, we're in July. So we're going Afro Nation. I'm like, I'm going to take my camera because I want to shoot people. I want to see like just the, the atmosphere and stuff like that. It's my first party holiday. So basically I come out of church in it. So I had been very, very shielded. So right. I, this is the first time I was going to see a lot of Nash. So <laughs> I was going to see a lot of ass. You're alive, so. I, 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 I was going to see a lot of ass. <laughs> You survived, you're alive. Survived. I didn't die by Nash. So do you know Just what I mean? About, like, I, I was there to celebrate black people and ass. So I took my camera and what happened was I had a... That's an insane sentence. 
Don't get caught for puss. <laughs> so that's that's nice. Nice. <laughs> but in this instance, having been shielded for so long, I think it was acceptable. If <laughs> I had suffocated my cheeks, I think it would have been fine. That's a good way to go out. <laughs> that's a good way to go out. If you can go out anyway. <laughs> anyway. He lived the dream. <laughs> Someone's way. So fast word, my client, I had a client that I was doing. It was a, a, a wedding video and I had, um, the deadline was passing and I needed to get it done. So I was there the day before. So I said to him, you know what, I'm going to take my MacBook, take my hard drives, just do it before the day of the festival and then I'm not going to pick up my laptop, whatever. So I mm. didn't go there to do anything but party and have and, and get drunk. So it gets to like Thursday now. So Thursday is Burner Boys Day and he's in performing in the evening. Mm. <clears throat> So I'm on Twitter now, and so he tweets, oh, I need a photographer, videographer for my set tonight. So a couple of people started to at me this early in the morning. So obviously, when you're on a party holiday, you just drink alcohol for breakfast. <laughs> yep, I've yep, had yep. Ray and Nephew, I've had Henny, we're in the morning part. I've got a lot of alcohol in my system at this point. I'm just, you know, when you're just floating, you just start smiling at everyone yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, you don't know, you're just saying hello to you. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everybody's just happy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously yeah. now, I've seen this tweet, and people put my name in it. So... I've seen it. I'm very, very tipsy. But I just thought to myself, this is, I, I appreciate it, but this is not going to happen. So I've ignored it mm. because in, there's like 15,000 people here and I'm sure there's a big There'd team of video. Somewhere. Some yeah, of them, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? This, mm. is, this is an insane <laughs> thing to even think would happen. I didn't want to get my hopes up. So I left it. An hour, two hours passed now. The tweet starts to go up. So, so many people start at me. People I don't follow. People I've, done, I've never even met. But just because, going back to the LMA moment, mm. the pictures, all that stuff, people started to, people were actually putting my own pictures underneath Burner Boy's tweet. Mm. And this, this tweet started to go from a couple to 50s to 100s to the point where my phone was literally blowing up. So at this point, I've got to myself, okay, you know what? I should probably say thank you. I still don't think it's going to happen now. Mm. I said, look, let me say thank you because it's a bit rude now. I'm just mm. ignoring people. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm saying thank you, saying thank you to a few people, and it just this numbers just go up, just go up. My best friend was with me at the time we went on holiday with. She um so the the one of the girls who sings for her, who sings for Burner Boy, called her and was like, Oh, is so and so there? She was talking about me. She passes over the phone to me, she says, Oh, but I want to talk to you. I said, Oh, yeah, what's good, blah blah blah. She's like, Oh, we've seen the tweets and everyone adding you in. Mm. Burner Boy wants you to shoot him tonight. So yeah. at this point, I'm like, Huh? <laughs> like the hell? <laughs> Sorry. So he he's requested at that point because at this he point now his team has seen it. His sure. team has seen everything that was going on. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Sure. So at this point I'm kind of like, uh, yeah. She's got. Have you got your stuff on you? I said, <clears throat> yeah, I do. Why? Because yeah, we need to shoot tonight. We'll get you all set up. Blah 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 blah. You're gonna basically be the man to follow him tonight. Mm. I was like, okay, cool. Bro. I've put the phone down. You still burst. Um, burst out of my head, oh. boy. But I'm not gonna lie to you. As soon as I got that call, I sobered up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not course. even lying to you. I Game swear time. down. So I've now, I'm because we're in the the festival. I've taken an Uber back home. I've gone to go and charge my because I'm not prepped. I've charged my cameras, done all this stuff, and I slept. And I went into the room. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I went into the room, closed the door, and I burst out in tears. The reason why I burst out in tears was like seven months prior to that, I was gonna take my own life because I generally didn't want to be here. Just mm. life wasn't where I wanted to be. I was just going through a lot at that point. Yeah. Fast forward seven months, my life is, is about to change in a way I never even imagined. And I generally didn't think I was going to be here. Fair I was I was making plans. Like yeah. I was all set up on how I was going to do it. Seven months fast forward, my life has changed now. So I'm shooting Burner Boy that night, end up shooting Burner Boy, Hardy Caprio, end up shooting Addict on their gold. After that, I get back home, my emails don't stop. Inquiries Amazing. keep going. Mm. Red Bull are calling me for work now. And then fast forward a year now, so COVID's happened. So it's been a bit of, I'm still working a bit here and there, but because of COVID, I'm not working that much. So I've got obviously do my nine to five, whatever. Um, and this is a big point of where I am now. Mm. Fast, this is like 2021. I meet um, a friend of mine starting an agency, a photo agency. This is, the, this is the agent that I'm on now. And this is basically where things just went right for the roof. He's like, look, I'm starting an agency. I know you're, I've seen your work, blah, 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 blah. blah. Do you want to jump on? I'm like, yeah, whatever. Do what it is. I didn't sign up full time. I was just like, whenever you need me, call me, whatever. <laughs> Anyway, we end up doing a campaign for Levi's. Biggest campaign I've ever done in my life. Levi jeans. Levi jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is insane. Like a big, big, big like you can go on Levi's, social media, Amazing. everything's all over yeah. here. Life change. At this point, I'm like, okay, this is a bit crazy. I'm like, Let's, let me sign up full time. I'm like, what's the worst going to happen? I'm, let me, at this point, I've always had control of my business. We move on now. I start working for TikTok. I start oh, working wow. for Netflix. I start mm. working for Paramount. I end up moving from... Um, uh, doing a whole documentary for Paramount commissioned my way uh, moving into doing more work for TikTok moving into doing more work for Cantu to the point now where business is so good I don't worry 
Mm. That's amazing, man. And the stuff that I'm doing is the stuff that I've been dreaming to do for years. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the stuff yeah, that yeah. Yeah. when you grow up, you're like, this is the kind of shit that you, you want to do. Yeah. And it all goes back to that one moment, that one affirmation moment changed my life forever. So when people see me and they're like, we know you're wet from that, I'm really humble because you have no idea. Mm. People supporting me is the reason why my life changed today. Mm. And you didn't have to. No yeah, one, yeah. Uh, you don't know me like that. Uh, you know, I could be a serial killer. I'm not, don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, don't, you know me like that. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, it's I'm like, boss. they hand on their heart back to me. Mm. Trust me, I'm telling you now, yeah. When you've got support like that, y- your wild dreams can come Sky's to you. No, that's love. That's amazing, man. And the thing is, yeah, like, it's so incredible. When I hear stuff like this, I really like that because, like, again, I witnessed it myself. I'm not the biggest on social media, but I will see things if it's big enough and it circulates. So when mm. I was seeing this unfold in real time, I was like, oh, I wonder where this is going to end up. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, when yeah. it actually happened for you, I was like, fucking hell like it actually made this actually happen so like you know since then i've kind of been at iron war in your journey i've, I've seen you in different places like yeah. in different like events and you're taking pictures and stuff and i'm like nah this guy's gone from strength to strength and hearing the story like actually from where it began to where you are now like i didn't realize you were in such a place beforehand so to mm. see that see how how good social media can be in, yeah. in certain yeah. instances yeah, is actually an, an incredible thing man Facts come out of time that's, yeah, that's yeah. so true and it's amazing how life works like that in the sense of it was just literally one moment of that that one just, moment uh and that being a catalyst and then just changing everything i guess i mean what my question would be like what's been your favorite campaign that you've worked on ah uh, that's a tough one man because i've done so much even just this year alone mm. but i think the i think for me the biggest one probably was paramount because Paramount for me was was significant because of the way that it happened. So mm. I was doing um, some. My, this was the first job that I did for TikTok. So I've worked for them a few times now. So this is the first one I did last year, and I met a woman, and it was funny. She was with a friend who I knew, I knew of, and he was like, "Oh, he just pointed to her and goes, oh, he takes pictures.'" And she's like, "Oh, are you free on this day?" I open up my calendar. This was like six months in advance. I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it in my calendar." She goes, "Cool, don't worry. I want to hire you for something." She mm. didn't tell me what it was. Right. When people do stuff like that, I just kind of think, "Oh, don't worry. We'll mm, get around yeah, to it." Yeah, yeah. I didn't think of it. Mm. We ended up meeting and she explained to me what it's for and it was for London Fashion Week with Paramount and it's a, a documentary that she wants me to commission. So we're not even doing pictures at the moment. We're talking, I'm given an opportunity to document an entire period or a historic moment at this point. Mm. So I'm taken back by this because this was just one person saying, oh, he's good and that was it. And that, there, was no, I didn't, there was no big pitch and it was nothing like that. When yeah. we did the documentary and stuff like that, I stood there and I, I took a step back and I thought, it's the first thing I've ever done in my entire life to be to given this kind of responsibility about something this significant mm. for this kind of company. Never in my wildest dreams did I think this was going to happen. Like, would you say they took a gamble? Because if that's not your hundred percent usual bag, hundred percent. And it's a gamble in a sense where it's not that I didn't know what I was doing, but okay, it's like yeah. you've I've, you don't know me. You don't know. You only know by the, someone's recommendation. Mm, yeah. and, and listen, if I was ass. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's gonna be he's gonna have to vouch for me yeah, you know what I mean yeah, 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 he's finished, finished. Yeah, he's yeah, never yeah. gonna trust him again yeah he's gone <laughs> so Career it's gone. a big gamble but also in the same sense it's like the, even the woman that I, I work with we're like really good friends now and we, we have like lots of like work together anyway yeah one of the things she was said to me she's like look when she saw me she saw the fact that I was just enjoying myself and taking pictures and she said that was a big 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 plus for her because she didn't she wasn't looking for someone just to do a job she wanted someone to be embedded in a part of it and enjoy mm. it and I wasn't doing that because I was looking for an opportunity I was doing it because that's just what I do mm. you'll yeah, see me yeah. like I, you'll see me I'll be taking pictures I got drinking the other that's hand that's a fact like, that's a that, fact. you know what yeah, I mean like, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. life is short man and like, I could do my job both ways so yeah, it's like yeah. When you see me and you're doing stuff like that and I'm enjoying myself, it's generally because, look, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Like, I love my job. Mm. If you see me and you're dancing or whatever it is, it's because, look, I didn't, I didn't think I'd be doing this four or five years ago. Yeah, and I'm yeah. doing it in a way which is, for someone who's a young black man, is a big opportunity for me. Yeah. I'm, you, I'm happy, man. <laughs> do you think your approach to photography has helped you get the be- best results? 100%. I think I, I was going back to it the other day because I was talking to someone about style of shooting and i remember saying to them when i first started i was always apprehensive because i've seen a lot of like photographers and the way they shoot and i'm like mm. how do they do that and then i took a step back for a little bit and i realized it's not actually about that it's actually about documenting your story your way mm. and so i started to take a different approach where i was just like when you see the way that i shoot it's very much dynamic i'm always trying to tell a story mm. and it's embedded in the kind of pictures that i take angles all that kind of stuff so over the years of having to like sit and talk to people about why they do what they do and all that kind of stuff, that's yeah. been a part of the way that I shoot. 
So yeah. a lot of the time, I sit to people like when I meet with clients and stuff like that, I will spend a lot of time talking to them even before I start shooting because it always unfolds into how I shoot because now I know about you, now I know what you're doing as opposed to well, I'm just here to do a job and I'm going home. Are yeah. you more for yeah. candid or planned? Is that how? Is candid. That... I love candid moments, man. Mm. I love candid moments. And also because it's technically, technically I'm blind. So technically I'm partially sighted. Mm. I actually can't actually see. So I shoot in a way where I'm conspicuous, not because I'm a stalker. Or I'm <laughs> <laughs> I know. We like, we like Joe and you, I bro. Know, brother. I know I like chicks, but I'm not that kind of stalker. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it in a way where I don't want to take away from them. Because as soon as people get a camera, they just get, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, they just start yeah, to get yeah, in the, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's so true. I'm very much like, I'm almost a way where you can't see me. And obviously, yeah, I can do the plan stuff. It's part of my job. But I like to shoot in a way where, oh, you don't know I'm here. Mm, mm. You're just in the moment. I'm just capturing that. A lot of historic like moments that you see, a lot of the, like, well, I remember doing the, the BLM um, protest a couple of years back. That was historic for me because no one knew that was going to happen. No one knew that... It, mm. it was a moment in history mm, and yep. 10 15 20 years from now that's documented you can see that yep. that's a part of history that yeah. happened no one's gonna be able to come and say that didn't happen that's, no it did mm. and that's now a part of my story and it's part of everyone else's so i'm very much like i'm in the moment kind of person 100 that's dope man that's how it should be i think Facts. and more importantly it's, it's organic as well yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very yeah, much organic it. yeah yeah, it look, it looks. It's like I was living, looking at your story yesterday. You shot for uh, A two at his performance, and like seeing the people because you took a shot where like there was this girl in a crowd, and she looked like she was like really enjoying herself. Yeah, yeah. And I think mm. to myself like that's exactly what you've just explained. Exactly. That's her in a moment enjoying herself, not exactly. necessarily like posing for the picture camera and doing all of that. Exactly. You can do that as well, but yeah. I feel like those moments are more organic and it feels yeah. more, more. You know, there was a natural. moment in the because uh, <laughs> at this point it was like it was towards the end of the show. AC's come off stage and he's in a, this like mosh pit thing. Yeah, so yeah. most people just tend to shy away because you don't want to break your camera. I'm like, no, this is a really great yeah, moment. You're in there. I'm right in the middle of it. Listen, I, one, my arm was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't break my lens, but I want to get a shot man, in it. Man swung his body. <laughs> swung his body. I, sw- I sw- <laughs> swung his body. <laughs> God, I don't have to try any means. <laughs> Cut the chain. <laughs> That is insane. I saw the niggas coming. <laughs> and I was dead, man. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going in the full Nelson, right? I'm showing to all the hands. Oh, he's a sick oh, man. Me telling my mum how Ray Mysterio guy. does his move. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's cool. like honestly, like even like I mean, I'm a fan of AT as well. So seeing, I was like, oh no, nah, this mm. this guy's in there, man. You've you've done some amazing things, and you should be proud of yourself. Bro. Honestly, man, I, I, and I'm you know I'm I'm proud that. It's, you know, when things kind of happen to me, a lot of the time I tell people it's not just my wins. I wouldn't be here without the support. Mm. And I'm not saying yeah. that because I don't know that I'm talented or I don't know that I... Look, without support of like a community, and this is why I always say community is so important, yep. there are certain opportunities I might not have got or it might have taken me longer to get there. Mm. And that's why you can't, you, you can't take for granted community. I especially agree. when people are doing it there's no reason to. Mm. I don't owe them nothing. Mm. No, I mean nothing. I mean, like, it's just because they want to see someone else win. Yep. And that's why then when you pass that on, someone else can win. And that's mm. what community is about. And it all comes back to it. Yeah, a lot I'm of good. the time, you know, some people, oh, sometimes I'll just do something, like, I'll just help you out because I don't need anything from you. Mm. But sometimes you just need an opportunity because I got that. Yeah. yeah, yeah and it was a big part of my it. life. And I don't know how that's going to help someone else. So I'm like, pass it on. Yep. Yeah. At the so end of the day, true. man, you just, you need to have that mentality. Yeah, we all want to make buyers more money. And I, you know, yes, I do. I, listen, I want to make money. Of course I do. <laughs> what is money? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my bill's going up, bro. Why the price of the brick going up? Why the going up, bro? Listen, it is. It's yeah, it is. Yesterday's no price joke. is not today's price. That's you a fact, bro. That's but a fact. a big part of it anyway was, uh, and that's why I have to shout out to my agent as well, because when I met my agent, uh, the place where I was was a really unique point because obviously I'm coming off the back of lots of these wins and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. With my agent, he was the kind of person who was like, yeah, I'm going to represent you, but I want to get you paid well. And we're going to get you the jobs that you want to do. And that's literally what happened. Yep. So as opposed to kind of going into work and kind of being under car and feeling undervalued, I don't. I've been really, really blessed with my agent to a point where anything that I want to do, I, I, we have really honest conversations about where I want to go and stuff like that. And yeah. it's been phenomenal. Like, honestly, I don't think I'd be here without my agent. He's a very, very, very big part of where I am today. And very that's so part. important. Like, Obviously, you have to have a machine behind you that will 
push you. You know, yeah, some people. Sure, I mean, sure. you've got the talent, but if that talent isn't pushed or in the right system, it, it could go nowhere. Yeah, the Facts. team, the yeah. team decides everything. Hundred percent. The team decides everything. It's one of those things. Like even us, like we've we've been doing this for a while. I think I was telling you this. We've been doing this for like five, six years, and like uh. we we started this probably just for the sake of doing it and like mm. we're enjoying it we're like yeah this is cool but we didn't really realize our ideas until probably around 2018 2019 yeah. times where we're like we had like a you know we kind of like yo what what the hell are we doing with this mm. let's take this seriously and since then we've like had you know we've had some great episodes we've had some good guests come on and like i'm like a podcast airworm anyway so like i hear people on different podcasts i heard you on off the cuff we've had the boys on here as well oh, amazing with, yeah. and i've heard of your story and we we the reason why we enjoy this so much so we can have conversations like this with people like you yeah, and other people and we can document it and i think with what you do and your job you're documenting the stuff essentially yes. you are literally right. capturing stuff in real life so i can see where you know your journey is like it's just nice to see how it can manifest because yeah. if you see where we started like we were in this guy's room <laughs> just all three of us <laughs> look, talking to one mic like it was a cypher like oh yo my God. <laughs> Like, we were really in the bottom. We were in the, the trenches. trenches bro. I love like, for, stories like that. Yeah, it's for insane. Real, it's I sick, love it. But it's, 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 <laughs> why, why did we do that? Why, why did we buy three mics? I don't, I don't understand. We were all talking to one mic like we had no. So it just was self inflicted. To be <laughs> it's, it's insane. Not really. It, just, it was just a start. It was, yeah, I mean, it was a start. All starts are humble. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And, you gotta start from somewhere, man. Now that we can, we you know we've learned. You know, you need to be in a room and how you need to set up your cameras X, Y, and Z. Like it's pattern now. I feel like we've got the product. We're old machine now. It's, exactly. Yeah, especially like communication. Yeah, communication has improved. Yeah, hundred mm. yeah, percent. Because otherwise, if we just started today, we might say some wild things. But then again, <laughs> like if you look at, for example, um, Nike's baby off the cuff, like the way all of them started, even free shots tequila, like all of them. They start off saying some super wild things, <laughs> and of course, like as they get better over the years, you know, obviously, I you know, that's yeah, that's cool. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they know when to tone it down. That's where we're at. We know 100%. when to tone it down and when to be wild. Because please, I don't want to be associated with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say anything? I was never here. <laughs> Never here. He was not here. But, <laughs> he was not. <laughs> but I think it's important to have these conversations because obviously what you do is so important and it's so yeah, widely right. seen. I think it's important that people know the story behind the person who's taking these yeah. great pictures. Yeah. And I think that's it's important that we have these conversations. My final question to you would be what's your favorite picture that you've ever taken? If Ooh. Bro, that's a hard question, dog. You're trying to you kill this man? <laughs> It involves the ash for sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie Baby. to you. I have taken some phenomenal pictures of cheeks. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> now That's it really does thing. help that I am a cheek connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> because you hey, just yo, you know, you've got to you know, put that in your bio. The weight of the cheek is <laughs> so very important. You're insane. <laughs> hip to cheek Why ratio so down to science. Hip to cheek ratio is very like it's very very important. Oh, so, so important. That's a <sighs> fact. That's an <laughs> underrated <laughs> fact. Very, very easy. I think you know. I think there's. Uh, it's hard to say one, so I'd probably say there's three. There's the one that I took of Burner Boy. Mm. Um, it's black and white, and it's basically the whole crowd's out. He's on stage. It's black and white, and there's just lights, crowd, and him on stage. And I remember being on stage because I got in trouble for taking that picture anyway. I got in trouble because I wasn't supposed to be that far on stage, but I told him fuck him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was arguing with me. I, the, the guy was beefing me. I said, "Listen, you're never going to see me again. You're never going to see me again. This is a moment in history. Fuck you." So, <laughs> it was that. Yeah. So there's that picture. That was historic. The second one was um, um, Janae Monet when I was at Afropunk in Paris, oh, nice. 2019. Mm. Beautiful festival. Like great. There's a particular picture I took. I think I'm actually. Oh, I've got it here. This one on my phone. Oh, man. Oh, hard. This picture here. This was like, that's why I'm on lock screen. This was literally one of my favorite pictures. Yeah. Mm. She was on stage, she had a mic in her hand. Phenomenal. And then the other, other picture that I took was at Masego's concert. Masego. There was a picture of this guy. Wavy guy. He was like, he was watching the concert and he had these glasses and it looks like they were like reflective glasses. Mm. At the time, when Masego was on stage, he was had like these green lights around him. I didn't even mean, I generally didn't mean to take it. I just took a picture of this guy. But the reflection of Masego and the lights was on his glasses. Oh, it, was, it was incredible. Oh. When I took it, I remember posting it and everyone was like, this is, this is art. I was like, this is beautiful. I didn't even mean to do this. Mm. You know when you're like, you're that's, what, that's like, what life is, isn't it? Yeah, I meant yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> it's me. I does this. <laughs> I am him. <laughs> I'm him. I'm <laughs> neutral. Yo. And it's, it's ironically, it's funny you say it because I'm trying to, so the plan 
for the end of the year so I do an art exhibition of just stuff that I've taken oh, yeah. Yeah. and I, that's the, literally the question that's been coming up because I need to decide on my favourite kind of like 20 to 30 pictures mm. one of the hardest things I've taken over thousands of photos of nah. this. and so when I'm picking out those moments I then starting to think about what I was going through when I was taking that picture or what was the story behind that picture or what mm. and it actually takes me back to realise yes I, 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 people ask me why I do what I do I'm here to tell stories like that's mm. the only way to put it yes i'm a photographer yes i'm a musician yes i'm a videographer like that's all i do but predominantly what i'm here to do is tell stories i'm here to tell right. stories because at the end of the day like that's the kind of legacy that i want to leave 20 30 years from now when you look at that picture you know i took it i'm happy with that picture I, says I, I a thousand that. words that's it that's it beautiful man well put run it, man. love for that all right we okay to go on to the next topic? Yeah, man. That was, that was a good chat. <laughs> I wanted to start with the guy. No, 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 you're right. You're right. <laughs> we good? Yeah, um, man. <laughs> let's, get into, let's get into Lizzie, man. Yeah. What, what were you, man, doing last Thursday? What? What were you doing last Thursday? What was I doing last news? Thursday? Yeah. Oh, when we had the news? I was getting a trim. <laughs> um, I was about to get a trim. I didn't know sure. done. So I didn't, I didn't know what, what this Higgy Haggy was. Wait, what day was last Thursday? Uh, Eighth. Eighth. Yeah, I was on the way to get. Well, they're yeah. saying it probably would have been the seventh. As in eighth of September. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, but man, I was drunk off my face. Wait, what wedding was this? I was in Italy. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was, was at fully, wedding as well. Fully in Italy. Oh, you're at uh, my girl's wedding, isn't it? The one yeah. That you're on. yeah. Yeah, that looked yeah. cool. Yeah, it was a really good wedding. Um, wait, in Italy? No, no, no. This was in Chelsesford. Oh. Yeah. I think I saw that one. I'm pretty sure because there was there was two in Italy because I yeah. was there and someone else was at another one in Italy and then there was one mm. down here. Yeah, I was getting drunk off my face and then. It was literally while I, was t- I was taking pictures at the wedding. So yes, I was definitely intoxicated as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there's a recurring thing going on here. <laughs> nah, there's none of them. Well, actually, yeah, cheeks and yak. That's pretty cheeks much. Cheeks and yak. <laughs> this is if my kind of nigga. I like that. <laughs> 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 this is what I'm on. <laughs> <what I'm laughs> Drops an album. That's the name. <laughs> I'm 100% calling my mixtape Cheeks and Yak. That's it. Cheeks and yak, and then I'm dying. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I was taking pictures, and then it was it was one of the bridesmaids. Why is he writing it down? Because <laughs> that's the name of the episode, you yeah. know? <laughs> he knows. Yeah. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> Before I forget, I got short-term memory loss. So I got to write that shit down. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, what? You, no, you, so everyone obviously found out on that day and it's like, what yeah. the hell? Crazy. Yeah, it was strange, man. I was celebrating and then the next oh, was, thing... Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. yeah. Whoa. Yeah, because we were there celebrating. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> do you want? Do you want to put us? Do you want to us in today? <laughs> I, no, I'm not born here. You so, your your house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that, man? Uh, home office. Listen, home office. I want no parts. <laughs> no, so because um, she would have had me on a plane. Oh. Pretty much, we're all celebrating, and then like it was just it was awkward. Right. Someone just said Queen's dead. Right. That's a yeah, crazy thing to say at a wedding. It's like, that yeah, Queen's dead. It just went round, round, like, and then everybody was like, oh, did, the, okay. did the vibe die? No, no, no. It stayed the same, but everybody, everybody had that black. moment <laughs> where it was just like, ah. Oh. I didn't even mean to say die like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, facts. I know the man them checked their phone, like, and then got back to dancing. Like, no, it's like, oh, that's <laughs> crazy. It was like, oh, that's, that's, that is crazy, man. Yeah. So I, anyway. And then just. <laughs> Oh, oh no! It's hot. You know anyway. what? <laughs> you know the thing the about it. Like, you know what I mean? You know the thing about it is, even outside from the fact that there is a very, there's a lot of bad history with the monarchy and the queen. Yes. Let's put that just aside for a moment. Okay. I don't know the woman. Hell I don't up. know her. Hell like, up. so it's. It, I don't expect you to mourn over my grandmother. Nah, that no way. Do you? I, regardless of that being the part of the monarchy, they've done nothing for me. Facts. It's really difficult for me to feel anything. Of course, it's death. It's it's sad. Like it's, it's I don't final. think anyone's yeah, in man. the point where they're like celebrating like that. I'm not because I don't care that much. But I think what the country is asking for, particularly from the people who are the most affected, I think is a bit ridiculous. No We're way. the most mon- marginalized because of this one particular person's time in history. And people what are we supposed at, to do? People are looking at us crazy. Like I went to a party yesterday and I said how I feel. Like I'm a POC. I don't give a fuck. Like, What's everybody like? Like, w- w- like nah. I don't. I, Did I don't anyone care. challenge you on that? Yeah. What I, they saying? I, really? I, I hear both sides. Hundred. I do hear yeah. both sides. I'm I hear both sides. Like, I understand. Like, we'll like, get into if it. Someone it's credited, credited, if someone was like, at you crazy for having the opinion that I do. I'm not saying I don't hear what you're saying. I respect the woman and what she's done, and but she's been that, a fantastic what, servant to the country. But what was that rebuttal? That what did they say that, to you? that 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 she's been a fantastic servant. Like she's an institution. I'm not. 
everywhere that, 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 that see, she. But you see that point there. Is it true though? I think I, no. I, she's lived for her country. I, I think I, she's. Li- but uh, again, if you if you take it from a if you take it from a point of it, the, those that are affected, you know, mm. it's like it's like for example yeah, when yeah. you can take a prime when Mugabe died, <clears throat> you know, from the outside in, everyone was talking about some of the things, but people in that country were saying, "Do you know how wicked this man was?" Mm. Yeah. They're not, they weren't celebrating that. Now some were, yes, because people were delusional. But the reality of it was is that there was a lot of bad things that was happening. Outside. So they weren't. Si- they were happy because that it was done. I hear what you're saying, yeah. but I'm I'm just saying their point, and I do to a certain degree. There's no I watch The Crown on Netflix, and I know it's not factual, but it gives a bit of context. So I do have maybe more of a soft spot than other pe- people of color. Mm. Like she worked hard for her country. I don't think I can ever take that away. And she dealt the card she was given. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's I not, agree with you. It's on not that. an easy <clears throat> job, like. If any of us were put in that position, I don't know if we. I'm wilding out. Pff, yeah, man. I can't lie to you, man. What am I gonna do? I can see what Harry's on. <laughs> he, had right he had the right idea. He had the right idea. He said, "I That's saw a black woman. That's the first time I've seen her. It's the closest proximity. I'm out." Hey, listen, I'm I thought Harry liked. He liked the blacks. I thought at one point he was gonna get Rihanna. Cause they were in Barbados. I saw pictures of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was looking. Yeah, you took the picture. It was you. Can he like to be inconspicuous in it? <laughs> nah. No, but I also hear like the other side where people are like, this is this is the queen. This is the mo-. like. There's one person at my at my at my, um, at my job, and basically she's like, she knows everything about like. The royals. What's going on? The royals. Yeah. How the whole um, procession is supposed to go when she goes. Like, what happens next? Like, there's another brother as well. He knows exactly like what happens next in terms of King Charles. So basically, we'll have to change everything. Oh, to it's, it's that actually yeah, yeah, is yeah, long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Police badges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Police helmets. They'll have to change the notes worldwide. They will have to do everything. So logistically, it's a nightmare. This is. Yeah, like, he's, he's only going to do it for. I'll be pissed. The only good thing is the next person is going to be His Majesty as well. So, so it will, it's it kind of yeah, like, I know the long. admin team's like, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost got <laughs> <almost, laughs> <we almost laughs> it. I don't know how long Charles has got. Maybe another 20 years, if that. Damn. That's being nice. Because he's 70 something, isn't he? He's yeah, he's 76 old, already. He's not, he doesn't look like he's enjoying himself either. No, From the nah. That thing with the pen. I said, I'm embarrassed for you, bro. How can your girl come in and be like, oh my God, it's spilling everywhere. He was just not, in, he was not impressed. <laughs> it was <Pause>. shit. <laughs> it's been a long, do you know what, to be fair, shit. I've just lost my marge. Like, yeah, 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 it's a lot, I must said I did the day. <laughs> I did the <laughs> day. <laughs> you know what, I have really mixed emotions about this whole thing. I think I'm, I'm very much, will, yeah, man. I'm very much on the side of, you no, know. just as an individual, I just, I see both sides in it and I'm mm, just neutral. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I hear what people are saying about this side and I hear what people are saying, but I'm just neutral. I'm like, all right, cool. But I just can't yeah, yeah. ignore like, she, where I'm what at. she, what the royal family <laughs> stands for. Like, I think, I would respect people more if they just like, held their hands up and said, hey, yo, it's fucked. Like, hey, we and were that's part what, of and that's what they about it from, If you think about it from another perspective, let's say there was an alternate universe and black people were in charge. A lot yeah. of people will say the same thing for the, for the Okay, but we're not in that. So, but we're not in alternate universe. Yeah, that's yeah, Ruby, yeah. this isn't this isn't Marvel. This is no way home. Psych <laughs> <laughs> This is our reality. Like yeah. it, that's the reality. And I get I, I agree with you. There's like two sides to it. I can't expect people who are not black to not celebrate the queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not marginalized. I am. So, of course, you understand the privilege. Yeah, I don't expect you to be like me. Yeah. I, you might feel uh, a little bit bad because of the fact that there was uh, colonization, slavery, or whatever, but the reality is it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect mm. your, it doesn't have any, anything to do with you. It yeah, affects yeah. me. So, to you and me, we're going to have completely different views about this. Exactly. Yeah, on, that's, on death. that's 100. Thing. But mm. your expectancy is that I should just respect death regardless. And that's where I find there's a bit of a problem. Mm. If you've mar- like, if you've marginalised me for the majority of my life, my culture's life, my generation's life, and then maybe the last ten years, you might say to me, "Ah, oh, you know what? All right, let me give you a bit of freedom." Well, I'm supposed, to, well, I'm supposed to say thank you Shoot. because oh, oh no, you've, you, you, oh, I don't have to be a slave anymore. Thanks for setting me free when you put me there in the first place. Facts. Well, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel a certain type of way at the end of the day. And it's not anything like when something comes to an end, you review it. Mm. And that's what I think a lot of people are doing. Now people question the monarchy and its actual status. Do mm-hmm. we need one? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. You know what's I- interesting to see though? It's very interesting to see the generational like gap. Like our like parents and like family and 
people above our age, I feel like they're a lot more upset than our gen in a way. Facts. Like I've seen so many <laughs> clips of like people's mums like the queen. <laughs> She's what? <laughs> Whereas we're she like was such a mama. regal woman. <laughs> I mean, but I get it because you're saying this when you came in. Like that's they all they've known. That's all they've known. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes. We've that's it's been a part of our you know our I'm, consciousness. I'm going back to it like this whenever when, for when a it long, was, long um, time. When it, when it <laughs> 99, 2000, when we went into the millennium. I remember my mum used to buy these. I don't know why, but she used to buy these glittery queen hats because they were celebrating. And I'm I'm going back to it. She's actually lived through almost every one of our lives. Yeah, mm. it's so crazy. I can mm, I can mm. understand, and I'm talking about. Uh, the generation of our parents that have come here yeah. Mm. Yeah, and have yeah, lived yeah, here and have migrated yeah, yeah. here 100% they, that's all they've known they haven't known anything else yeah. and listen they got, they got where, where they were coming from to where they are now yeah. in terms of the lifestyle and what Nigeria was back then what countries were back then what they've now come into where they've seen a completely different economic status they've got houses all that kind of stuff like yes I'm not saying this is a reason to celebrate the Queen but you have to understand the mindset as yeah, to 100%. why they're doing that like this, yeah. they live a different life and they do because of this it's not directly because of the Queen <coughs> but you get what I'm trying to say yeah, so yeah, yeah. they've yeah. lived through that but our generation, we've bypassed that because we 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 yeah, read our books basically. We, we oh, know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, they've left places in an utter mess. Utter like, mess. Them them man ain't recovering. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or they're still trying to recover. Like what they did in Kenya or what they did in Pakistan and uh, Bangladesh mm. when mm. Um, they tried to separate the Muslims mm. from. Mm. Like what the fuck is that? Yeah. The jewelry that they've stolen. That that's most of your. Thing. Even recently, your son, that man shouldn't be out there. Like, I, I don't no, know. Man, I, I, still I, still touching Nash. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that, he's he's a sick man. <laughs> You're bad for that. But he was. Yeah, that's a like, wild clip. We all saw it. That's like, a wild clip. I can't I, believe that is actually real. That is, you can't, and you That's can't. You know what? I'm not like you. I looked like. at it. I'm, I'm not here to defend <laughs> Andrew, by the way. No way. I looked at it a few times. I said, I can't. You can't. What do you say about this? There's no. You, as. Listen. That's in defense. Not even as a black person. I said, watching it. You didn't, are you going to sit here and say. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this? He's not well. There's moments where this nigga could have moved his hand. This guy Crazy. was scrolling down. Crazy. Hey, I said, no, nah, man. man. We paid 12 mil for box. So. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> we paid 12 million pounds. That's insane. That. Like, that is going to be the, probably the biggest stain on her, her reign. Like, she should have got that boy out of there. Mm, that's a fact. Like, it's just wild yeah, people then, are. Nah, I, but I hear it. I hear I it. I know. I think we spoke about this um, in the group chat. My yeah. God. Oh well, essentially, it's like that's your son. I know, I know. You're trying like, to back you're, your, you're your gonna ride out for your son. Pack, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I hear it, but it's just like your boy's wild for real. Your boy's uncontrollable. You know, genu <laughs> genuine, genuine question. Though. Come get genuine, your nigga. Genuine, genuine question. <laughs> genuine question. Yeah. If you had a child that may maybe not uh, even in any sort of capacity like that, and you know, and you're aware, you're aware of his history. You're aware, like this is true. Like there's no. Mm. There's no are you? Are you are you, I'd, him? Are you I'd, leaving him? I'd have to say, to a certain degree, I have to disown or distance myself. I, I just think, if I that's <laughs> my morals, and if I don't, I can't sit here and say that this she should have got that man up out of there, and then I can't say, oh, I wouldn't do the same if it was in my position. I don't know what I'll do think, when the time I think comes. It's difficult to say. It's it's easier to say now when you don't have a yeah. sibling, and this is not justification because I, in my head, I'd be like, look, if my son or daughter did something like that. The law has to take yeah, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not bailing you out. That's your yeah, business. That's, that's what, that's that's, what my yeah, thing that's is. What I'm now you're still my son. I still love you. I don't. I don't like what you've done. But I can't sit here. But then at the same time, I think about nepotism. I think about opportunities. If I know that I've got money to shush or hush or put whatever, million is a lot. it's a moral. Oh my God. It's a moral. There's a moral middle ground that you're gonna have to find. And I don't. Everyone's saying, oh, they <coughs> wouldn't. In that position, I think everyone's gonna be completely different. Now, again, I'm saying it for now. I have a, I have a little boy. My little boy does things like that, or does things. Obviously, I'm gonna be like, you can't do that. Mm. But then, I'm well. Again, you have to think about certain economic situations where people are. If they're if you're faced with the money or stuff like that to do whatever you want, it's a completely different ballgame sometimes. Yeah, but put in the Lord's hands then. I guess maybe maybe it's not as blunt as I made it, but 
I'm not. I, I think goes. To, I'm not bailing out. The, the feds have got to sort this one out. Basically. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a royal. It's a royal suit. family at the same time. Like you have to take into consideration the status that they have, mm. the way they're perceived. You don't want. You don't want your family to be seen as weaker. Yeah, yeah, compared yeah, yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. You want the public perception of it yeah. to still be very high. So yeah. if you to now disown him, what does that now reflect upon you guys? And you guys have so many fuckeries now. In the past, you might as well add another fuck you to the list. No, no. Put another ten on it. Do you know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't yeah. care, bro. They don't they did care. Did the twelve million because if they allow the investigation to continue, they will uncover the whole royal family. Oh, hundred percent. Oh, god damn. Oh, it almost, and this is this is almost the reason why I say the reason why they Your paid that twelve million yeah. is because it's not about the fact that it's just their son. It's the fact yeah. that they all are morally unjust. Mm. All of oh, them. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. all of them are. Yeah. To the point where. It's like you said, if they start to investigate really what's going on in there, I the world will be scared about the monarchy. Mm, bag of fuckery, man. There's a there's so much the fact that there's connections to Jeffrey Epstein is enough to tell you there's a lot going on there that people that don't is, know. Yeah. 100%. He said that Balmoral, their family home where she died. Jeffrey Epstein. Really? So also well, you know there's, there's, time, there's laws in the, the you, you know, I read this the other day, there's laws in the Royal Mon- uh, Royal Monarchy where basically they can't get persecuted. They're above the law. They can't be persecuted. Yeah, because they are. They are. They are the law. And whoever sits on the <laughs> throne is what? the law. You're gonna send King Charles to His Majesty's prison. I'm going. What? It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what are you sending me, dog? So it That's completely a fact. makes sense why <laughs> they will do things that are morally unjust, but they're allowed to. Mm. And this has been going on for hundreds of years. <laughs> brother it's a very interest. like it's so weird this whole thing happening is so interesting because it brings such a massive discourse on things and like just even from like a visual perspective it's such a weird like dystopian kind of view like but, i was driving yeah, i was driving yeah. yeah every single fucking billboard the queen yeah, the queen the, the, the queen the queen, yeah, the queen, yeah, the queen, yeah, the queen. Yeah. on monday they're going to make sure on every single channel the queen's funeral is going to be <laughs> everywhere channel five said nah so, fuck that shit so i'm just like it's just such a weird time like i've never seen anything yeah. like this is what i'm trying to say 100 mm. percent. just such it's, an interesting conversation I, i'm getting i'm getting sick of living through life-changing we've, we've events we've through man. some shit you know what in, you our, ti- in our timeline what do you mean? What do you, what we are the textbook it's gonna be our face. Uh, you're you're the most years. happiest person this year. You've had two extra bank holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you know what? You got me. He's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> got me there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll do them again. I'll do them bank holidays. You do it again. No, but we've lived through every we look pandemic. We yep. lived through every death you can think of. Yep. We've lived through um, economic um, um, two. Two, 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 two of them two jobs. <laughs> two of them yeah. jobs. <laughs> Like, what is that? that? 9-11 We're, We're living through the worst day. climate in history In terms of Yeah, the of planet's hot the, the planet is on its knees, bro <laughs> Proper Them scientists are saying wrap it September <laughs> If you're listening to this Rude boy, the sun's out in September <laughs> hey, no, We're going it's to it. die <laughs> <laughs> Do you people understand what's going on? It's hey. a fucking heat wave in September. <laughs> hey, hey, boys, I don't think we're gonna survive. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I think this winter is gonna be blitz. Oh, it's gonna I'm be so, I'm, to, I'm buying kind of the goose. They can shut the fuck up. You know, what, honestly, you might as well because <laughs> turning your electricity on is going to cost you a small fortune. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be the man. it's gonna be the coldest time in the country, and just even looking at your heater, your money's gonna go. Hey, up. listen, it's it was peak. cold at night. I'm so peak. I can't I can't turn it on in September. <sighs> nah. I thought about it yesterday. I'm too shy. I said, nah. <laughs> As you man said, I'm a soldier, man. Yeah, I'll just put what? my jacket on. <laughs> just sleep like this. Just sleep in the corner, bro. I'm I'm in so far, the Gucci, man. Yeah. <laughs> Talk, bro. Word to them gal there. It is crazy. It's all crazy bro. out here, bro. Nah, it's, 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 it's going to be blitz, man. Get, get ready. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Winter is coming. Pros and thoughts on Lizzie and them? Um, I'll say rest in peace. I'm yeah, happy to say it because yeah. someone has died. I'm not going. I'm not going to be obtuse. No, nah, we're not. Like, I can't lie to you. There's, there's, there are, there are people who, when they do eventually die, will not be saying rest in peace to them. And I know who that particular one person is. R. Kelly, because he's a nasty individual. But Facts. Lizzie, yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. You did your thing in it. You did your thing in it. It's it's a, a, it's a well, I have to ask you, even though it's very controversial, R. Kelly, his music. Well, actually, no, you can't. Because the thing is, sometimes when he was writing his music, no, no, there was, yeah. You can't the separate con- The one. context around it is insane. It's insane. You yeah. know what? I've always been of the guys that you can separate the artist from the artistry to mm. a degree. Mm. So Kanye, Kanye's yeah. batshit mental. 
<laughs> we know this. Kanye is batshit mental. But Kanye is a genius musician. Facts. Mm. Facts. I can separate it because of the, uh, and that's just, this is my, this is my moral playing field. Mm. Everyone's different. I can separate it because, no, he hasn't, he hasn't touched kids that I'm aware of. He hasn't written music about kids. R. Kelly, from the time I was a child, they were telling me R. Kelly was a wicked man. Mm. So when I was a child, do you know the whole story about him pissing in a um, teenager? They swept that under the rug. I knew about that from when I was a teenager. Hey fam, AJ ain't nothing but a number. Aaliyah's album, Dust. The man is a confessional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a confessional. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually wild. It's, it's there. It's all there. It's all there. It's all there. I don't think you guys understand what I'm it's saying. It's all there. The evidence is all in front of everybody. The title of the song is called "AJ Ain't Nothing But a Number," and he got Aaliyah to sing it, and he wrote it. It's a confessional. It's just the story. Nah, they were on the tour bus, and the door just swung right open, Brother? and everybody just kept silent, like. The Pied Piper, man. Literally the Pied Piper. So I, I can't lie to you. It's, there's, there's no, what, what, what more can we say? I know. What, what, what more can we say? Talk, that one, you can't say. Fire for that. Fire for that. And on top of that, it just came out the other day. He's, he's, um, they found child porn. Yeah, he got six counts. Got six counts. Six counts. Do you know what six counts of child porn is? Gone. Brother, your computer is infested. <laughs> Gone. That hard drive, crazy. That Gone. hard drive is crazy. Nah, he, he, I mean, he's doing it 30 years already. So I think they're going to slap more on top. They have to. Have to. I don't think you can ever see, leave but that But the jail. industry is responsible because for so many years oh, we yeah, told yeah, them about him and they didn't listen. Go look at Jay-Z a little bit sideways, man. man oh, I can't lie to you, man. And that's my goat. But I, I, brother, you knew what... Uh, everyone knew what he was doing. Everyone knew. Mm. Everyone. Yeah, he's... That's just one of those ones you got to write off, boy. That yeah, never happened. It put him in the bin. Yeah, underneath the jail. Not, uh, not no, in the jail. <laughs> under, underneath, underneath, yeah. underneath the jail. <laughs> that was hot. Yeah, reason for of Lizzie. What else do we need to want to get into before? Uh, we... I think there was one more topic. I could be wrong. But, I mean, we've been absolutely podding today, so... the what pe- thing? What, your boy? Top G. Oh, I can't stand him. Who's that? Andrew uh, Tate. Andrew Tate. Oh, I... I think he's cool, but anyway, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> oh, the Little Mermaid. <laughs> no, let's just stay on Andrew Tate. Why do you think he's cool? <laughs> Andrew Tate, did, did you see the about him being blacklisted from everything? Everything. everything. Santander, Lloyd <laughs> TSB. What? No, come Lloyd on. What TSB. What, bro, they did a banking as well. Bro, you got he's blacklisted banking. from Uber. Airbnb. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> you got blacklisted from Uber. He's a brick. Airbnb. Meta. He got blacklisted from Santander Bank in the UK. Yeah. Um, what? Huh? Because of this whole, he basically got social media blackout. Now, but they can't do that. Well, okay, so what has happened? The actual story is the fact that he had his house raided by um, international police mm. because there was one individual who claimed that she was being held hostage and being trafficked in his house. Yeah. So, lo and behold, that's all been dismissed. So he's not been charged with anything. So he's still a free man. However, because of that, and then people calling him a rapist, people calling him a child trafficker, people calling him this, this and that. And then also because of his non... I mean, he tries to keep it as a comedic view. Yeah, but it's controversial. But it's controversial. Controversial, non-comedic points of view and stuff like that. They've all just decided to say, you know what, blacklist this guy. Yeah, and just cancel him. Now, the question so. is, when I was thinking about it, I have no sympathy for him. You opened your mouth. No one asked you to. So <laughs> in the nicest enough. way possible. Yeah, sure. In the nicest way possible, like you, 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 everyone has this point about freedom of speech. You're allowed to say what you want. You're not allowed to determine what the circumstances of that, what that mm, is. Facts. I'm allowed to say, fuck everybody. Doesn't mean that everyone's not going to come and fuck me, slap me in the mouth because mm. I said fuck everyone. Like, that, that's just, that's right. just life. Yeah. So the, the, the query around whether I feel sorry for him, like I said, you had a choice, you decided to do that. That's your business. You play mm. with that. Where there's, it, it, it gets really difficult is that you set a president and that means that you, it's not consistent because there are, there are countless people who have views like him, yeah. racist views, uh, 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 just all sorts of manner of madness. Mm. They have not been blackboard like that. Yeah, and I'd... if you're going to toe the line, you need to toe the line with everyone. This is, I, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't care about Andrew Tate like that. Mm, but yeah, it's, too, the, it's, the, it's the message that you start to put out. 100. Is that okay? So what about everyone I, else now? Because, I, yeah, it is scary that, because just to blacklist him like that, I don't think when they did it to Trump, I got it because that man was inside that a riot. Was he, he was telling them man to get busy at the Capitol. Right that, that's insanity. He, that he literally everything. started an insurrection. Yeah. He, he should yeah. actually stand before a court for something like that. For real? <laughs> He started an insurrection. He started a rebellion. Do you know how insane Someone that is? Someone died that day. Yeah. However, my thing is this. 
to basically the guy is is off the grid. You've taken him off the grid completely. His phone don't work. <laughs> to a certain extent. <laughs> to a certain no, extent. No bar for service. <laughs> to a certain extent, but it's like, okay. That's insane. If you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Then what are you going to do for anybody else who doesn't necessarily agree with a view that doesn't align? Yeah, with it is, it's those scary. Those corporate values. Do you get what I'm saying? That's a fair point. Because you might have somebody who's uh, Islamic, who has a certain type of view that you don't necessarily agree with. Somebody who's a Christian who doesn't have necessarily the exact same view that you don't agree with. Mm. Somebody who's agnostic who doesn't actually believe in any of these views, but they don't actually like they don't align with mm. your corporate values. Are you now going to turn around and cancel the guy completely? And uh, leave yeah, him I out don't. I don't think they should. I, I don't think they should have done it because personally. I just feel that personally, fair enough. My man was he was talking some wild stuff in certain places. Some things that were good. Some things that were absolutely wild. However, to completely annihilate him and make sure that he is off, like off your, off your, off the system, basically. Mm. I think that's just extreme. It wasn't extreme, Chris. I do, I do think so. And this is, this is, this is not a side to Andrew Tate. It's not a sympathy for him. It's literally just a side to the president that you set. And actually, mm. yeah. You, you, what happens now? Gonna, what do you? What, what, what does happen now? What does that? Because it, it says a question that, like you said, if I don't align with what is the common denominator in terms mm. of views and morality and whatever and that's it boom and uh, is that gonna happen to me yeah. yeah now of course the views were extreme i get it like at the end of the day if you didn't open his mouth you might not have had this same issue yeah and yes we can boil it down to having extreme views will get you in trouble but what about people that they don't come under the guise of extreme views but their views are very very controversial and very dangerous mm. but they're not as vocal or they're not like what do you do now because are you going to blacklist some people? You're probably not. And the reality of it is, is, I'll be honest with you, there are people of whiter complexion that have said worse things mm, and don't get in yeah. trouble like that. I'm not even here to do he say, she say. That's just facts. Mm. Do you know how long it took? What's her name? Um, what's Kate, Hopkins Kate Hopkins was getting busy. On, like, phew, she was cooking. actually spouting hate as well. She was spouting hate. She was cooking, boy. No, no, you guys have done this. They got Wiley out of there quick. Oh, with the swiftness. <laughs> no, take it back. Hopkins, yeah. After they say take it back, they got rid of him. I've never seen him again. Said, take it back. They said no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> bet. Boosie, little Boosie, bad. Oh, bro. Did they get rid of Boosie? Several times. He just, oh, he just, he just keeps coming back. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. He just keeps, keeps respawning. But it's just... Uh, it's just uh, Katie Hopkins. He's respawning. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Katie Hopkins here. Like, nah, there's are... a lot of wild stuff that, that she's done. funny, man. It's, even, not, it's not good. Even Piz. They need to check that man. Uh, Piz, Piz is, is dangerous, man. I, d I blocked him on everything, man. Because oh, I just thought to myself, this yeah, guy, this guy wrong with him. He's, he's like... He's, he's he's a stone in the industry. Yeah. You can't get rid of Jesus. him. Can't he is what he him. is. Who <laughs> said he's Jesus? Nah, he, <laughs> nah he's Piz there, man. Off, he's you can't get rid of him. But, and, do you know what? Now he's just being controversial to be controversial. For the sake of it, he's very calculated. When he, he, he does it, in front of that vegan, I said, "What's the discourse here, I, man?" I, I rated it still. <laughs> <laughs> I rated it as well, man. What are we talking about, man? All I heard in the background. I would have done the same. Du, 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 du. I said, whoever put this clip together is sick. No, it's the delivery driver coming through. And you can see the lady. No, no, that was planned. That was planned. That was planned. Nah, but you can see the lady's yeah. face. Nah, he's sick for that. He's a sick individual. <laughs> in I my answer, I don't like that man, but I, I respect, respect him. Kind of Imagine point. she asked for a chip as well. <laughs> <laughs> to pull that off, that's insanity. <laughs> I was not give a fuck about what she had to say. No, she was, she was he's, mad, he's a mad man for that, you know. He's a mad man for that. He really spun the block. That's crazy. Nah, like, I'll tell like you it. what, for that, I'm going to eat. All the sex with people that I, I completely dislike is vegans, man. I can't lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry, man. It's not that I don't like you as a person. I'm sure you're great. But you can be so irritating sometimes. Yeah. It's too much. Did you see them putting um, roses well, on, the, the, on the meat? I would have taken it on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yo nah what's going on man I, I, I didn't understand that to be fair everything's like, on fire right now bro. oh did crazy. you see the video with Gucci Mane what's nah, he done what they nah. pour um, paint on his nah 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 it's just like they went up to Gucci Mane he's like hey yo I heard you got a vegan <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what like, did he say whoa stop wearing fur stop wearing <laughs> wearing suede and me and bro the security guard just went and took the guy <laughs> grabbed hey him. listen the boy like, that um Nah. <laughs> well, I've seen a lot of great nah. drags recently. The oh, boy that shouted. 
He's in another dimension. What happened? What happened? The boy that shouted at um Prince Andrew. What did he say? Uh, yeah. That yank boy. <laughs> nah, you guys. You know, I think you know the best one I've seen. Which I think one? the best one I've seen is the little is the little Dirk one, where um he was, he was on stage. I think it was um he gets the one drunken white guy goes to hug him. The security guard pushes him off stage and he goes fly. I said, that guy's got a concussion. <laughs> He's <laughs> gone. He's gone. Anyway. He's gone. He's gone. You know what? He's in the same position. Yeah, but yeah. he's gone. Just please, please gone. tell me you've seen the one that uh, of the guy screaming at um Prince Andrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that. that was a drag. My, they got that boy up out of there. Damn. <laughs> It's not. It's it's the way they try it. Special occasion. And they said, "Go, go save the king. Go save the king. Go save the king." Because you was techie, but nah, it they was. Got the, um, someone this morning actually. Someone tried to touch the. Um, oh yeah. The casket. Nah. They dragged. He got the Oh my god! Why did she do this? They, I'm telling you, there was fame. Listen, he got. Why are there so many people? <laughs> what the fuck? Listen, the man it's the queen, like, though. No <laughs> it's the queen. I don't think she's there. The yeah. There's no one there. There's no one in that box. <laughs> You're not, it's not that like you can steal jewels or whatever. The, the box is empty. empty. It's empty, it's not there. It's, it's, not there. Literally, it's, it's literally the video zoomed out. People are tired. I'm going to have to end this pod. How can you say the box is empty? But the box is empty. I just put a queen in the box. The box is empty. The box is empty. Oh, no, it they dragged. And then on top of that, yeah, it was 20 men that came. And then like another 20 men came. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what is going on? He got speed. They got out shit, there, man. That's he wild. didn't stand a chance. <laughs> That's wild. I think he even got... He he saw it. <clears throat> like, in his dreams. So <laughs> close. <laughs> he just couldn't... Did he, did he even get close enough to... He deserves it then. They were looking at him, waiting for a knew. Yeah, they knew. That guy didn't even breathe near that coffin until he 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 hit a little goal in the process. He said he had one goal. Oh wow! Said I'm I'm on this dickhead. He deserves it then. I've not seen anything like it. Time to be alive. Jesus Christ! This episode's been killer. I do want. We do we not want to talk about Little Mermaid because I found it very fascinating. Why? We could touch on it briefly before we go. The racist is just no, different. G- Jesus lives matter, man. Jesus what? lives matter, man, for sure, man. I ain't give a fuck about <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about. <laughs> I end the thing, man. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, music. <laughs> Listen, it's been a great episode. <laughs> Gingers, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Listen, gingers, that listen to this. We love, you. We, love you. we love you. Hey, I'm ginger, so no one can come to me. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Haley, tell your sister come, come yeah. my way. <laughs> come my way. <laughs> listen, I, could be Bailey, could be Layton. Either way. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh, music, music. The way we end the episode is we just all pick one song that we're listening to right now because uh, we have a playlist we update every week. So. That's okay. Oh, yeah, you, see that's okay. you, can't even you see the jeans. I Have you seen the gins? The gins were gins The gins were bigger than like the crow of a small I village. Alright. <laughs> You know what I didn't understand? <laughs> I was gravity keeping that shit on. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> the thing was down. He was jeans in, bro. I've never seen someone jeans like that in my life. Them jeans were gins in, bro. Levi like jeans. <laughs> Karate trousers. I don't understand this, bro. Yo, hey, he's the best. Your jeans are funny. Your jeans are funny, what fam. <laughs> your jeans are funny. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. He's a goat. He can do what he wants. That tape is amazing. Yeah, that tape is phenomenal. He can do whatever he that wants. Tape is you know what? I don't even care. You can get away with whatever you want, to be honest with you. When you drop music like that, you can do what you want. Yeah, <gasps> facts. Which track do you say, your man, Joha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, one. Oh, that's, that's, that's my track. I'm never recovering. Oh, you picked my choice, you know. I'm not going to lie. I, was gonna oh, pick I can't pick a second. You've already picked it. I'm going to speak on No, you can pick another one if you want. It's a whole album. Oh, it's, yeah. it's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. And the good thing is, it's a short album, so you can just constantly let it look. It's really, really good, man. Um, I'm gonna pick something off a of Western's um okay. album. I'm gonna pick uh, Unload. Do you know if I picked, it's been out for a while, but I like it. If I picked one Unload for last week, Unload, Unload. Uh, did you pick? No, you picked Zoo. Last nah, week. as in so the episode coming out. Oh no, we, this is the this is coming out on Tuesday. My oh guy. shit! All right, cool. Well, one of the ah, oh, this song's phenomenal. Like I've had it on dumb repeat. K Trap Warm. <laughs> 
different, different sensational scenes, yeah? I'm going to pick a song that came out yesterday. Go on. Whiskey, bad to me. Oh, it's hard. Really, really good. Starboy. Yeah. Come on, I'm playing the thing. Yeah. That's how we end the episode, people, them. Listen, bro. This has been a sick episode, man. No, I, I love it. I love it, man. This was actually Honestly. really fun, man. No, that it's been was great. Quality. Really fun. Let the high, people know where they can find you, bro. So it's DB Captures, DBC, take out the A, add an X, Captures. I'm on Twitter. It, listen, I'm giving you a warning now. If you follow me on Twitter, <laughs> I talk about coochie eating, ass eating, eating anything, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, I said it. That's right. Don't follow me Jesus and then come and tweet me and then come and tell me why do you tweet things? I've given you a warning. So don't come and tell me oh, all you talk about is ass. That's right. Ninety percent of my tweets is about ass. The other ten percent is pictures. Down. Cheeks and yak Crunch. out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you purchase always. Hey, yo, this has been an incredible episode. This might be top three selected straight up. Straight up. up there still. We gotta have you back at some point. Oh, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely sure, come back. Sure, nah, sure, that, sure, this sure, has been sure. vibes. Love having you back. All right, guys. <laughs> Box is empty. <laughs> nah, don't, don't, let's not do it again. Let's not, let's not. All right. I love, love. Until next love, week, man. yeah. Peace. I love.